review our research questions. So first, what factors are uh, what factors affect the success of adoption of G6PD screening and the use of WHO treatment guidelines? So second, what are the basic requirements needed to effectively roll out a G6PD screening program? And the third, um, will the use of G6PD screening and WHO treatment guidelines lower the incidence of primaclin-induced hemolytic anemia or PHA and possible occurrence of relapse compared to the existing treatment guidelines? of uh, currently used by the National Malaria Program in the Philippines. So for the study design, this is a interventional quasi-experimental study employing mixed method. Um, quantitative experimental methods shall be used to compare WHO treatment guidelines and the National Malaria Program in, um, in malaria endemic area. So a mix of quantitative and qualitative methods shall be used to understand the factors in adopting the introduction of G6PD in those areas. So for the study area and setting, the recruitment of participants and sample collection will be done at, um, in Southern Palawan, which has the highest number of malaria cases in the Philippines. And the processing of samples will be at the RATM. So for the study population, the, in, the inclusion criteria, so malaria, all, all malaria consulting patients in the health facility will be invited. And then for the in, exclusion criteria, pregnant women, severe malaria and those two to two years old. So sample size and sampling technique. So this is a quasi-experiment. We'll seek to recruit eligible patients who satisfy the inclusion criteria. So all malaria positive patients will be invited to participate if they pass the inclusion criteria. So for the study variables and outcome measures, we have the uh, first episodes of PIHA. Second is malaria antibodies and then the factors of adoption of G6PD screening. So for the study methods metri uh, matrix, um, ob for objective number one, which is to determine the adoption of the rollout of G6PD screening and the use of the double issue treatment guidelines. For uh, research question is factors affecting adoption of G6PD screening. So the study outcomes, number of patients agreed to be tested for G6PD among all the malaria um, patients who consulted the treatment group. And then for the research met method, uh, quantitative. And then the data collection tool will be patient log, log sheet and the case report form. For the data analysis, proportion of patients agreed to be screened and then the data presentation will be table. Um, next is the perception of village health workers who will do the G6PD screening. So we will use the KII or key informant interviews. And then the, for the collection tool will be interview guides and data analysis using in vivo. Um, it is a software used to, um, uh, to uh, sorry, for, for quality research. Uh, it is encoded verbatim using to the in vivo and it will, it will show you the results. Okay, and then for the next is, uh, sorry, um, description of reasons of for taking the screening test. So research method will be survey, and then collection tool, survey questionnaire, and then summary of statistics of survey answers. So data presentation will also be a uh, table. So next is the basic requirements needed to implement screening. So for the study outcomes, so description of infrastructure in village implementing G6PD screening. So research method will be the observation and then policy recommendation document review. So this will be all just um, um, uh, written descriptively in the paper. So for the next, uh, for the specific objective, to determine and compare the number of prima queen induced hemolytic anemia in treatment and control group. So for the research question, will the use of G6PD screening and WHO treatment guidelines lower the incidence of PIHA and possible occurrence of relapse compared to the existing treatment guidelines currently used by National Malaria Program? So for the study outcome, case group will report less number of PIHA compared to the control group. So research method will be quantitative experimental data collection tool. So the procedure that we will use will be hemoglobin count for PIHA and malaria, a serology test for, to detect malaria antibodies. 
And then the data collection tool will be case report form. So data analysis, this will be consulted to a different department um, in RATM. They are the one um, responsible in data analysis and data sampling, or uh, sampling size, for sampling size. So also the data presentation. So another study outcome is the case, case group will have lower and or uh, lower to undetectable malaria antibodies compared to the control group. So this will indicate a lower possibility of occurrence of malaria. So same research method, quantitative experimental. So same. So next is the dissemination strat strategy template. So objective to, to inform of research results. So target audience will be malaria program managers. Um, provincial health work, uh, provincial health officers and policy makers, and communication channel will be face-to-face -face, uh, meeting and stakeholders meeting. So assessment of information usage will be discussions with participants should show that they are aware of the key messages during the meeting. And then the tools will be meeting documentation. And then another objective is to contribute to public awareness on G6P screening. So general uh, for the target audience is general public. So communication channel will be printed flyers. And then assessment of information usage, awareness of audience on G6P screening will be measured using a survey. And then tools will be um, survey questionnaire. And for the last, to recommend policies based on the research findings. So target audience is policy makers. Um, communication channel will be research briefs, face-to-face um, -face meeting, oral presentation on conferences, and assessment of uh, information usage. Research findings are included in, co in consideration of updating the National Mar Malaria Treatment Program or Treatment Guideline, and then the tool will be meeting documentation. So I think that's it.